Hi, this is Rayanne, and she's going to show us how we put the sheath on the endoscope fiber. Hi. The first thing you want to do is take off your protective yeah. plastic, slide that out carefully, then you want to have the machine on and make sure that the lens is working and that you have a clear picture here. You want to get the sheet. Make sure that when you have these sheets, when you get them in your office, you keep them straight. If they bend at all, you can get kinking in the sheet and then the fiber won't go in properly. So you want to open your sheet and keep it straight. Take the fiber carefully. If you bend the fiber at all, it will get cracks in it. You want to slowly work it into the opening of the sheath and guide it through gently. If you're getting resistance, go very slow. If it feels that it's too much resistance to go through, you want to take out the fiber immediately because you don't want to damage the end of the fiber. You want to pull this out and keep it straight. Slowly guide the fiber through the sheath. You can have the doctor mess with it later. And if anything breaks, it's his or her fault. Yes, that's very important. When you get to the connector, sometimes there's a little resistance here. There is a spring in the fiber. You want to connect it here. Then you want to make sure that the fiber is to the end of the sheath. If not, you can pull back on that spring. Okay, hold on. Let me, do, let me look at that part. Here. And gently guide it back through to the end of the sheath. Then you want to make sure that, again, everything looks clear on the screen. Sometimes if it's not seated properly, you will get this white burst of light on the screen. And that usually means that you need to pull back gently on the screen and readjust the fiber. If after that that doesn't work, then you want to get the doctor and have them check it out. Then the next thing you want to do is hook up your water. And we're hooking up our water to what? We now? have a water bottle. So we have a system that's external from the unit. You want to pressurize the water bottle system. And then you want to also check the water. You want to make sure that it flows freely, just like so. And what, uh, what, the, what is the water pressure that we're using? The water pressure we're using right now is at 40 PSI. Oh, only 40? That's pretty good. Oh, now it's at 60. About 60 PSI gives you this much water flow. Take a look at that. And that's how fast it should be flowing for you to see clearly. Once you check everything, the best thing to do is gently loop this around and place it like so until the doctor's ready to use it. If you have any problems with the sheath, or you feel that you're having too much resistance and you're afraid to put it in you more further into put the fiber into the sheet. What you want to do is save your packaging. On the packaging, there's a sticker that has a lot number on it. You want to cut this sticker out. Take your sheet, and this is also if you have any fogginess while you're using the sheet. Gently take the sheath off.
lightly coil it. You don't want to crimp it. You don't want to crush it because then we can't test it. Place it in a one gallon storage baggie like so along with the sticker with the lot number on it. When you're done using the scope in order to clean things, you want to clean the end for your water supply and you also want to clean up here like so. The endoscope fiber shouldn't have to be cleaned although you can disinfect it if you'd like try to stay away from the very end of the fiber because that has an objective lens on it that you don't want to get fogged up with chemicals. Also if you have any sort of uh, blurry image you may want to check the spring area and show them how that spring goes back and forth. And this little spring gently. area slides the sheath back and forth and helps the very end of the fiber to seat at the very end of the sheath. That concludes our demonstration of putting on and off the sheath and thank you Ryan for all your valuable information. You're welcome.